Despite all the evidence we have that Amber Heard perpetrated the violence, despite all the recordings of her admitting to beating, and despite all of the evidence of the injuries being false, and all of her statements being false, the stupid High Court here in the UK has decided against Johnny Depp, and saying that Johnny Depp did indeed hit his wife, because there's substantial evidence. There was no evidence. She went up on stage, she cried, she gave detail of how he beat her, and the High Court decided to believe her, whereas Johnny Depp went up on stage, presented audio evidence of her admitting it herself, and, yeah, of course, because a woman cried, they believed her. Johnny Depp loses libel trial of the century. High Court rules Hollywood, Hollywood star is a wife beater and he faces ruin over claims he, he hit Amber Heard 14 times during their turbulent relationship. There's still no evidence, there's still only claims, whereas we have, in her own words, proof that Johnny Depp, or sorry, that Amber Heard hit Johnny Depp. I was going to say Johnny Depp was hit by Amber but heard, but I decided to go the other route. Johnny, today, Johnny Depp today lost his sensational libel case against his ex-wife Amber Heard and the Sun newspaper. Following a 16-day trial, London's High Court found the Hollywood star is a wife beater and Heard claimed he had hit her 14 times during their turbulent relationship. The result leaves the 57-year-old Parts of the Caribbean star's actor, actor's reputation in tatters and facing financial ruin. It's not going to leave his case or his, life, his reputation in tatters because everyone knows the truth just because the high court says he just because uh, the court says he did it doesn't mean he did we have undeniable evidence coming from Am coming from Amber Heard herself that she did indeed hit Johnny Depp but there we go Depp sued the Sun's news, uh, publisher news group newspapers and his executive order Dan, editor Dan Wooten over an article published by The Sun in April 2018 that originally carried the headline Gone Potty, how J.K. Rowling can be genuinely happy casting wife Peter Johnny Depp in the new but Fantastic Beast film. Heard 34, who was the newspaper's chief witness, tearfully told the court of the 14 occasions during their toxic relationship when he assaulted her, providing graphic details of his drunk and drugs fueled attacks. Something that there was no evidence for, whereas, as I stated, and I've covered many in many videos, there have been numerous, numerous audio recordings of Amber Heard admitting to assaulting Johnny Depp. The claim, uh, in today's ruling, Mr. Justice Nicole dismissed the fallen actor's claim, saying the publisher had proved what was in the article to be substantially true. No, no, he didn't. The judge said the claimant was not succeeded, succeeded in his action for libel. Although he has proved to the necessary elements of his case of action in libel, the defendants have shown that what they publish in the meaning which I have held the words to bear was substantially true. I think that means at the time they believed it to be true, so they published it, and yeah. I have reached those conclusions having examined in detail the 14 incidents on which the defendants rely as the overarching considerations which the claimant submitted I should take into account. It's disgusting. How can you sit there and believe her, despite all the evidence? Heard's legal team said this morning they were not surprised by the results. In a statement they said, for those of us uh, present for the London High Court trial, the decision and judge, uh, judgment are not a surprise. Very soon we will be presenting even more voluminous evidence in the US. We are committed to obtaining justice for Amber Heard in the US court and defending Ms. Heard's right to free speech. Her right to free speech has never, never been called into account. What's been called into account is her lying about Johnny Depp. I'm sorry, but even the, free, even the right to free speech doesn't cover lies and doesn't cover falsehoods. A spokesman for the newspaper said the son has stood up and campaigned for the victims of domestic abuse over 20 years. So why have you never reported on Johnny Depp being abused? Not once have you uh, covered that, or campaigned that, or 
are you like most UK people and most English people when you sit there and think only women are victims of domestic abuse? Domestic abuse victims must never be silenced and we think the judge for his careful consideration and thank Amber Heard for her coverage giving evidence in the court. Still nothing about Johnny Depp who in who was he presented evidence of Amber Heard saying physically that she abused Amber Heard, uh, that she abused Johnny Depp. Nothing, nothing for Johnny Depp. And here you have in bullet points: Depp lost a staggering six hundred and fifty million dollars he made at the height of parts of the Caribbean film when and it was left owing a hundred million in taxes. That's because Amber Heard caused him to spend admit. Depp admitted to spending thirty thousand dollars, twenty three thousand pound, on wine each month. You, what you don't understand is, Johnny Depp doesn't drink wine. That was Amber Heard. But there we go. Depp denied all the allegations, claiming that it was his ex-wife who was violent towards him. We have audio evidence of Amber Heard admitting to this. But there we go. They met on the set of The Rum Diary in 2009, married in 2015, and Depp filed for divorce in uh, May 2016. The trial captivated the world's attention and amid stunning details about Depp's drink and drug, drug binges, his huge spending and fragile finances, and the couple's jet set life and toxic re uh, relationship relationship. Copy editors, people. The High Court verdict is being seen as a first round victory for Amber Heard with other legal battles looming over her ex-husband. Depp is also soon heard for $50 million in a trial set to take place in the US next May after she wrote about being a domestic abuse survivor in Washington Post article, something that is not true. Heard is counter suing him for astonishing $100 million, saying that the fallen actor is and his legal team are mounting a global smear campaign against her. And saying that you are a domestic abuse survivor and calling him a an abuser isn't smearing him. Okay, dear. Yeah. Uh, after meeting on the set of the Rum Diary in 2009, of a couple married in February 2015, but the relationship rapidly deteriorated in the turbulent 15 months that followed, with their marital problems laid bare during a three week the three week court hearing. Amid the claim and counterclaim that both sides these were key incidents between the boring pair, the defecation incident. This came to be known as Pugay and took place in LA in 2016 during her 30th party. And Depp told the court he arrived two hours late after receiving some bad news about his financial losses and the revolt, and a row broke out between him and Heard. She told the court how her ex husband threw a magnum champagne bottle at her and shoved her into the floor several times before leaving a note reading, Happy effing birthday. No true. This basically goes into detail of uh, the Late Late Show. The High Court will also played excerpts of uh, of Heard's appearance on the Late Late Show, showing James uh, with James Corden in December 2015, 20 hour, 24 hours before it, uh, she claimed that Depp slapped her and dragged her through the by the hair through the apartment, pulling clumps of hair out, and then repeatedly punched her in the head. When Depp asked. Uh, when asked by Depp's lawyers, Eleanor Law QC, why none of the injuries to her face were visible, she appeared on live television. Heard replied that she had covered them up with makeup, to which her makeup artist came out and said that wasn't true. There was no injuries on her face at all. They've taken all of the counter evidence against her, and all of the counter evidence. And counter and counter claims against Johnny Depp, and you've got people saying this was the right decision. Well done to the judge. No, it wasn't. It was not the right evidence across. And you've got people still saying that he should not have lost. I was never his fan anyway. Bullshit. Yeah, having heard the evidence, I'm gobsmacked by this ruling, and I hope he appeals it because it's a uh, it's about the actual judicial system now. Johnny Depp should have won this case. There's no doubt about it. With all the evidence, all we have is Amber Heard coming out saying, crying in court, and saying he did this, he did this, and he did this, with no evidence presented. 
none whatsoever. Whereas we have we have excerpts and actual audio evidence of Amber Heard admitting in her own words that she physically beat Johnny Depp, she cut off his finger, she hit him with a door and yet apparently Johnny Depp is the abuser. It's a disgusting day for justice. Justice was not served in this case. Johnny Depp did not deserve to lose. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. I'll also include my playlist of the Johnny Depp case and the Johnny Depp situation and this and things. So you can go through and watch and you can see all of the evidence that there was against Amber Heard where there was none against Johnny Depp. And you can see for yourself how this is a miscarriage of justice. Justice was not served and it's been disgusting that people have believed a woman simply because she sat on a stand and cried. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.